So here's a quick video I know is going to save some guys a ton of aggravation. And it occurred to me last night because I was putting the transmission in our charger. And after I got done, I said, oh, wait a minute. This is like really good how-to content. But, you know, I was in mechanic mode and it was late at night. I just wanted to get it done. So I'm going to simulate this whole thing now. That's why I'm laying down on the floor here. And since the transmission is already in the car, we're going to use our Stunt 727 for the demonstration. So here's the thing, right? One of the most difficult jobs a guy can do on his own, by yourself, on the floor, is getting an automatic transmission, or any transmission for that matter, up into place. It's not that the transmission itself is, is difficult to get under the car or, or, or jack up. That's not the problem. The problem is getting the transmission up on the floor jack. And some guys will strap the transmission to a floor jack and then slide the whole thing underneath. That's easier said than done. Usually, you know, it's very cattywampus, especially if you're working by yourself with nobody to help guide it. You do it like that, guarantee you'll drop it two or three times before you're done. And then if you go back to the ancient past, and this is a method that works. If you go back to the ancient past, one of the things that we take for granted today is affordable and, and available floor jacks and jack stands. If you go back to the 70s and even like the early 80s, those things weren't available to like the average home guy. They were, ex they were considered to be expensive, you know, shop equipment. And most guys got to do with rolling the cars up on the ramps or, or, or using the bumper jack to get it up high and I'm blocking it up with cinder blocks and wood and tires and anything you can to get the car up high off the ground. So in those days, when we had to do a transmission, we would use planks. You get like an eight, 10 foot long, two by eight plank and you lay it under the car. You slide the transmission under the car on that plank. And then side by side, you build it up with two by fours. So, you, or whatever you've got handy. So you'll, uh, you got the transmission on the plank, you know, under the pan, on the plank, under the car, and you lift, let's say the passenger side, you stick a two by four in there. You go around to the driver's side, and you put two two, two by fours in there. And you go to the back to the other side, and you put three two by fours, right? And you just keep going until you've eventually raised the transmission to where you can kind of wrestle it into place. That was the way we did it back you know, way back in the day. But like I said, today we have cheap, everybody's got floor jacks, everybody's got a couple of floor jacks, jack stands are everywhere, so that's not an issue anymore. But like I said, the difficult part of doing this is once this is under the car, remember you've got very limited work height, you're laying under the car with the transmission, is you've got to get that jack under the, under the pan and you're doing this by yourself. This weighs a good 160, 170 pounds with the converter in it which is no big deal to, to just lift off the ground. But like I says, when you're under the car and you're trying to work with, you know, sliding the jack and balancing the transmission and getting the height up, oh man, it'll kill you, right? Especially if you're an old guy like me where you got like arthritis from head to toe from multiple motorcycle crashes and all kinds of, you know, trauma, right? So I'm gonna show you the quick, easy way to do this by yourself, no stress, okay? So all you need is a jack stand and a block of wood. And there's something about four inches thick is, is perfect, right? So, and it's gotta, it's gotta be, have a little bit of length to it. It can't be a short block. I'll show you, I'll show you why in a second. So here's, here's how this works, okay? When you take the transmission out of the car, you pull the, the transmission cross number out, the motor and the trans lay down like this, right? They're on, they're on an angle, okay? With the tail shaft facing down. Taking it out, no problem. Gravity is your friend. Putting it back in now, we have to get it lined up into that angle again. So, here's how we do this. The jack stand goes under the back of the tail shift. And you wanna have the tail shift at the approximate height that it'll be once the transmission is in place. Okay, so notice, remember, everything is tilted down towards the back. So you want the tail shift to be approximately where it's gonna be once it's settled back in there on that angle. So, first step is we get our floor jack under the tail shift. Tail shift is easy to lift because you have leverage. Okay. You want this under the front part of the tail shift. 
Okay, that's about the height. When you position the jack stand under the back of the, the, uh, the tail shaft, you'll see that there's an area on the tail shaft that, uh, you know, spreads out a little bit where the seal goes. So that's where you want the, the jack stand positioned. Okay, so now we're at our approximate height. Now here's an important thing that you need to remember. The torque converter, once you've sat the torque converter into place and it's gone those three notches and it's all the way in, you need to keep it there while you're maneuvering it around. So in this case, what we've got here is we've just got a, a, a combination wrench bolted to one of the transmission, no, one of the starter bolt holes, and that holds it back. So the converter is secured so it can't slide forward. All right, now. Back of the transmission is held in place with the jack stand. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take our block of wood. We're going to roll the transmission, keeping it on the jack stand, all the way over like this. We're going to slide the block of wood underneath. Okay. Now, with all of that in place, we have just about almost enough room to get our floor jack under it. It's important to know the balance point of your transmission. Usually the balance point is about a third of the way back or, or essentially at the front of the tranny pan. So you wanna be able to get your floor jack under the front of the transmission pan. So the way we're gonna do that now is we're gonna roll our transmission on the block that gives us enough height and boom there we are okay now we just need to balance this That's about it that's about it now at this point we're going to go a little bit higher you know just so that it's going to meet up to the, the back of the engine and now we could just roll it forward on our floor jack and get it to mate up if you can fit a couple of studs through the motor facing back to catch the holes that's even easier i, I tend to not do it because i've done this so many hundreds of freaking times that I, I could just kind of like plug it right in but if you could take some threaded rod, some all thread, and make a stud or two that goes into the back of the engine so you could just slide the, the transmission forward onto those, you know, onto the studs that you made, make life so much easier. So that's it. There you go. No stress, no, no straining, no torn cartilages or anything like that. Quick, easy. That's how you do it by yourself on the floor. I hope you got something out of that. I'll see you tomorrow.